Oh my gosh, you're here. <laughs> what a mess. <clears throat> All right, I don't know if I'm live or not. Bonjour, can you hear me, girls? You can hear me, fantastic. Oh my gosh, you find me. I'm so sorry for the big mess. Obviously, I'm not awake. And hopefully, the other ladies can click, click, click. Bonjour, bonjour. I have to read all your messages. I am so, so sorry for this mess, girls. I need to close everything and see. Yay! Bonjour, bonjour. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is giving me a heart attack in the morning. Trust me. I'm like, no, look, I had a shower and look my hair. It's a mess. <laughs> Okay, okay, so now, whew, let's go down a bit. Uh, okay, all right, I messed up then. Bonjour, bonjour, Daniela, Louise, I can see your messages, girls. Sweden, New, oh, New Zealand, it's 9 a.m. for you, bonjour. New York, oh. All right, my lovelies, I'm so sorry for this mess again. Um, I hope you can finally, can you hear me well or do I need to change the AirPods? Go back. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> say hi to me. Hi, Lan Velez. You see, I say hi. Pennsylvania, Florida, Greece, Maria. Oh, you, okay, girls. You are back. I can see the numbers are going up. I can see you. You can hear me very well. Fantastic. You know what? It's so funny because you already 100 of yours take, emailing me and it's like, Bonsoir de la Suisse. <sighs> oh my gosh, look at my hands. I'm like, oh no, no. Oh my gosh. All right, girls. So good morning. It's 6 a.m. Actually, it's 20 past 6 because I'm obviously late. And again, I truly, truly apologize for that. Um, you know, I woke up at 4.30 this morning and had a cuddle with Oscar, had a shower, make myself almost presentable. And I thought, I'm going to prepare a cup of tea. I checked the time, you know, and I just finished the cup of tea. And I thought, oh, it's fine. And at the moment I tried to be live, it was just a big mess. I know, I know. Oh, you know, I'm a stress head anyway. I'm not some... Merci, relax, merci. Okay, girls, first of all, can I thank you so, so much for joining me everywhere in the world. For probably 99% of you, it's still Sunday in Australia, in Queensland, actually. It's six in the morning on Monday morning. Yes, we're a little bit in advance. Time for wine. Well, I'm drinking Red Bull. Don't judge. I... <laughs> Cuckoo, okay, I'm going to read your messages, but I wanted to, first of all, it's been almost two months I didn't do a live video, and I'm sorry for that, but I'm going to be super, super honest with you. I'm overworked, and in the last three months, you know exactly what I'm going to talk about. I prepared the famous, the styling course that I've been preparing for you and um, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I want it to be really, really good for you. So I had a lot of girls from the US, Oregon, Texas. So um, I couldn't have time to do a live video, posting three to seven videos per week and in the same time preparing the course and doing a good job. <laughs> I'm shaking less. I'm, I'm going down. I can feel the... But I'm always nervous to see you and I'm so excited in the same time. It's like, oh my gosh, the adrenaline is like picking up, you know. Thank, thank you, thank you. Oh, hello, girls. Oh. Okay, so this is the, the big announcement. But first of all, actually, no, sorry, and I'm so not prepared. <laughs> So first of all, this video, because you finally in direct in live with me.
had to change a while back because someone found my Facebook from a YouTube comment, which was, I don't know what you're talking about, darling. Love you, Jane. Love you, Abby. Anne. Anne, you here. Oh, my gosh. Anne Carr, I'm talking about. Sue Baker as well. Okay. So I'm here now to answer all the questions you want that you have a problem with. If you're not sure about what your body type is, what about if you have a styling question? And um, in the future, I would like to create an exclusive Facebook page for you and I so we can communicate. And I would like, after my styling tips, I would like you, that's in the perfect world. I don't know how yet I'm going to put that into place. I would like you to take a photo before and after. The reason is because a lot of you uh, DM me on Instagram, send me picture of your new look. You feel more elegant and I love it. And I thought, but it's a shame. It's just between you and I. I would like all the girls enjoying what you learn from me, you know? Don't pay attention to the comments. Okay, someone probably put something nasty. <laughs> My question is, finding skirt to suit because I'm short. Yes, if you're short, midi dress will be the best for you. It depends how short you are. And it... Mel, oh, you hear Mel, Mel de Perpignan. You know, every time I see Mel 16 Réunion, I thought you're coming from the Réunion Island. Bonjour, Mel. Ah, you promised me you'll be... René, René, you're here. Hi, darling. Sorry, girls, I recognize a lot of you with your photos and name because I'm sorry to your messages. Ciao, ciao. Veronica from Peru. Wow, that's amazing. Curaçao. Okay. Bisous. Bisous, les filles. Bisous. No, you're not late. I was late. So don't worry. You're not missing out anything for the moment. We are just starting. And thank you so much for your patience and time. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm live with you. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope the sound is good. And I'm not showing too much my boobies. No, it's perfect. Not so perfect, but it's okay. All right. So the idea is if you have any questions, so this is the opportunity for you to ask me directly whatever you want. And I'm going to try my best to help you out. C'est parfait. Merci. Okay, fantastic. So I want one perfect handbag. What color is best? Great question. It depends about your color palette of what you're wearing, but I will be safe with three types of colors. Actually, it will be black because black goes with everything. So a nice black bag. If you want to invest into a very nice bag, then take a black one. But usually, especially for women like you, going to four different seasons, black is more like wintry, uh, autumn. And I will definitely go for a tan because it's so elegant. This color is a killer color. And maybe something if you want for summer, like something more in a white or ivory, but not compulsory. But I will say tan and black is definitely a winning color for a new handbag. I'm a pear shape, but skinny jeans don't look the best. Okay, any suggestion? Yes, you should try to wide legs uh, pants to elongate your figures and try pointed shoes to absolutely elong look at me, elongate the, the, the figure. I'm so happy to connect with you too. Samira from the Unity. Okay, girls, Apple Shape, I have a lot of questions. How often do you, okay, I'm going to finish. Apple Shape, I created, I filmed all weekend. Yes, I did. And I decided I creating one video per body shape. So it's going to be edited in the next two weeks, and I'm going to post that. So I know you need help, especially, and the first video will be about the Apple Shape. And in those video, it will be... <clears throat> You need to measure your body first. You might think you're an apple shape and you might be another body shape. So that would be in my course as well. But when you show your body, apple shape, usually you're more round around the stomach, you know. I think it's hard to talk to you and read the messages. How often do you change your purse? Um, I used to do every week. 
because I have some handbags and some they're always in, in a wardrobe and I don't like it. But for the moment, it's mainly I'm more into practical bags. So um, right now, it's just more in black. So I'm going to have a black handbag or something like that. But I change my bags more often because I love a variety because sometimes I dress the same and the handbag will change completely. Love, love, love from Massachusetts, Maria, Spain. Denim dress, how to dress it up. Oh, if it's a very tasteful dress, then keeping very simple in terms of shoes. I would personally wear nude shoes and something and a bag that is not getting too much attention because the denim from head to toe get really the attention. Keep your hair clean, minimalist makeup, but let the, the, the dress speaking for you. I go for a birthday party, but dark green velvet dress. Wow. Any suggestion to color to combine with it? I don't know how to look with Christmas tree. <laughs> you, mm, you take some risk, girl. Who are you? Ludmilla. Um, oh, Ludmilla, I recognize you now by your photos. Um, keeping as well very simple. But velvet goes with, green goes very well with white. So maybe something like a white bag, I think. Okay, Chris, uh, do you think I should donate my larger size costume jewelry necklaces and earrings? It's smaller, better. I have lots of beads and long necklaces. Well, if you don't wear them anymore, and if you haven't worn them for, uh, let's say, at least six months, 12 months, those necklaces, then probably you're not going to wear them anymore. So put them around the on the table and decide which one as you have. And if you're not sure about giving them to donation, then putting on the side and then give the rest to donation. For the thing, the decreases you put on the side, um, then keep them for six months and see for in the next six months, you still wear them. If the answer is no, then you know what? Give to someone who will really enjoy them. And that works as well with clothes, shoes, whatever you want to donate if you're hesitating. Click, click, click. Okay. How did you get over the fear of starting your channel? <laughs> well, I lost my business and I thought I need to do something with my time. And obviously, as you can tell, I'm someone very social. I like talking. I love women. I love helping people. And I started like that. And I was so scared the shit out of me. Sorry for my language, but the live video is the only moment I can swear. And I love swearing. <laughs> Have you done a video on socks? I never no because I don't wear them a lot. And mine are very boring. They're small in cotton because only for going to sport. I'm always I'm always barefoot. This is very Australian of me. <laughs> trench navy. What do I think? Yes, it's a very nice color. You can't go wrong with a navy trench coat. I prefer the black because I think it's a little bit more elevated. But if you have a navy one, definitely. What do you think about boho style? Can you use some clothes address? Yes, I love the boho style, but it doesn't suit everybody. You know, the little flowers, the kind of a bit of mustard colors. I just give away one of my dress, boho dress, because it's a beautiful dress. It doesn't suit me, and I give it away to my neighbors, and she's very happy because she's very boho. So I think it's really cool, but again, boho style, it depends where you live. If you're more like a LA girl or Florida, it might be okay. But I imagine if you're in New York or Paris, it's more urban and more, um, it's a different look, you know. But again, if you want to be a boho girl in New York, be my guest. How do you style with glasses? Do you suggest having a variety on hand? You talk about reading glasses. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, if you talk about sunnies, I like having two pairs, the black and the tortoise, because for me, they go again with everything and it's good with my hair. But sometimes I like a really good, funky, sunny is a bit fun, you know, just something really big. You go to a party and you look like a big fly. <laughs> Montenegro, Vicky, you were there last time, I remember. Is it appropriate to wear a linen black dress in summer? Yes. Absolutely. I wear black in summer all the time, especially when you have a nice tan. If you don't want to expose your skin in the sun, then definitely do self-tanning like I do. This is fake or maybe a bit of a sun. 
but definitely you don't have to wear white in summer and black in winter. That's so old fashioned. And especially if you wear a black linen dress and it makes you feel good, just do it. Doesn't matter about the which which season you are. We love you from New York. Merci. Dalila made a video about busy mom. Oh, I can't. I'm not a mom. So, Anne, oh, you are breaking up. Huh? Love again from Oregon. Thank you. Love the Lily Sick recommendation. Fantastic. I'm going to do another um, sponsored video with Lily Sick coming soon, by the way. And they have new garments. I can wait to show you. I'm still waiting to be delivered here. Yes, the six month rules is good. So again, I repeat my, myself, but when you want to purge your wardrobe, when you want to do a bit of a cleanup, you know, we open the wardrobe and say, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear and it's full of clothes. Then again, that would be in my course. You do three piles. Two, it's better. Three is, it's so You got one pile, it's clothes that they damage. You don't want to wear them anymore. And even if you give to someone, it's not nice to give something that is damaged. So that will be rubbish. The second pile will be donation, or maybe you want to do an extra pile for clothes that you don't wear anymore and you would like to resell on Depop or on uh, eBay. And the other pile will be the hesitating pile, the thing that you still got attached emotionally to one piece of your garments and you still don't know what to do. Then again, keep them because um, if you're still hesitating, then something is a bit off. And then I will recommend him to wear them. Try again if those clothes that you attach to, they're still matching with the other clothes. And keep them for six months. In six months' time, review this pile. And if you still see you don't wear them, then you're not going to wear them, ladies, you know? Is swearing looked down on in France? Is it true that you should not ask people what they do for a living? No, that's not true. I'm a Persian. Oh my gosh, it goes too fast. Hang on, I need to go up. Uh, Maria, I'm a Persian. Would hiker boots looks okay for the winter? Should I stick to my Chelsea boots? I don't know what's the Chelsea boots. So I don't look so bottom heavy. I guess you live somewhere where it's cold because hiker boots, um, hiker boots is for hiking, not for styling, not for going grocery shopping. If you're in winter, maybe try to find a nice pair of boots, winter boots. I'm sure they do something very nice these days. But again, you might live in Canada with two meters of snow, so I'm not sure about your question. I'm 55 with silver hair. Makeup suggestion, Jen. Okay, I can't really help you with that because I don't have silver head. So I always give you recommendation that something I know and I experienced or failed myself. Otherwise, it won't be honest. And a lot of girls on YouTube who they have beautiful silver hair and they do a lot of makeup. But for makeup, you know, if you have silver hair, first of all, good on you, rock it. I will keep my eyes quite minimalist, but still put a bit of uh, black, you know, and always keeping your makeup up. Don't do anything heavy in the um, bottom eyelids. And maybe a nice, you know, something red lips, I think will go, go, go well with, with silver. I think, I think. You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm drinking Red Bull. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> I need to calm down each time I go on Lily Silk. Oh, that's so beautiful. Do you get any of your clothing tailored? Yes, especially when I buy pants, um, even cotton pants, because I'm so short, they're always too long. And those cotton pants, I can't roll them because they don't hold on the hem. So I find the tailor, she doesn't charge me too much, but I bring so much clothes now, it's like a bit expensive. So if I want to wear those long cotton pants, yes. And But usually that's why I love the jeans. And I love anything that I can roll. So at least I can buy the, the pants or the jeans that I want. And I know I can roll around the ankles to avoid the tailor. But because I'm petite, I love tailor clothes. And I love the idea that I can wear whatever I want outside of the petite section. Just get a bit of a tailor. And yes, it costs money. But you know what? 
I would rather to spend a little bit of more money to have something that fits me, that say to me, oh, I really love these pants. Oh, no, it's too long. I can't wear it. Nah, tailored. What did you did about COVID kilos? Oh, it took me so long time to lose it. And I put a little bit of weight during winter. Now in summer, and it's quite, it's quite hot. So... Um, I, um, I when I go grocery shopping, I don't buy any food that will make me fat. For example, I don't buy lollies, I don't buy chocolate, I don't buy peanuts. And for the alcohol, I crazily reduce my alcohol consumption this year because I've been working and, I, and uh, I'm trying to drink maximum one bottle of red wine per week, which sounds crazy, but it's like a two glasses of red on a Friday, Saturday, and maybe on Sunday I have a little bit. And some weeks I don't drink. And the alcohol, stopping the alcohol helped me to lose weight crazily. And also I love sport. I bought a bicycle. I'm going to go back swimming. Um, I found a new friend to do kayaking. So I'm into sport because I, I hate going to the gym. So I love just being active. Can you do everyday makeup look sometime? Yes, this is my everyday makeup. It's very easy. I'm going to tell you in two seconds. Um, bit of foundation, hydrating everything. I put a bit of black crayon, a black coal. I smudge. I put mascara, a bit of a nude eyeliner because my eyes look very tired. I've done a bit my eyebrows. Bit of a, a bronzer, that's it. And I've done a bit of make, uh, lipstick. That's my, that's my everyday makeup that I do in five minutes. Sorry if I don't read all your questions. I'm going to try to do the best. You know, you are 200 of you. Okay. Okay. Bonjour, Kat. Frédéric, je t'adore. Bisous from London. Oh, that's a French girl who lives in London. Merci. Look fabulous. Merci, Hélène. Hi, Frédéric, everyone. I say my welcome for Hungary, Budapest. Beautiful city. Bonjour de Paris, my gosh, it's so late for you. I have an issue with blazer and narrow shoulders and large hips. That means you are a triangle. It's sometimes have an issue as a 36 can close it and 30 is a bit large. Yes, I completely understand. So maybe it's about the brand where you're buying. You need to find the brand that it's a true size for your blazer. And because you're a triangle, so if your shoulders are a bit more narrower than your hips, you need to rebalance and try to create your body like an X. Think about hourglass. To do so, it's very easy with clothes we can shit. You need to wear something maybe with pads or a puffy sleeves, anything to bring back the volume, not crazy, obviously, to have almost, if you can, the same volume here and the same length of your hips. I hope this makes sense. Sorry for my bad English this morning. Do you have tips on how to dress on a budget? Yes, absolutely. This is so important. It will be in my course again. I will highly recommend you, girls, please, first, be smart with your money to create one account just for you it's, and name it self-care. Put as much as you can on this account. Even if you saved $5 per day, do an automatic uh, debit. So like this, you don't think about it and try to put maybe even $50 per week, $100. You leave this account for maybe two, three months and then you start having a quite a good amount. And then with this money, you decided to buy your skincare, to buy your clothes. Never buy clothes or anything on impulse first and outside of your budget, because if you go and no credit cards, girls, never, never credit cards. It's just like, that's, that's terrible to buy clothes on credit cards. Buy only with the money you have on your bank account. I hope that can help. Oh my gosh, I have to answer to all your question. I was being my style evolution. Oh, you don't want to know. I, have, I went through so many things. You know, when I was a kid, I was a bit of a punk. I was in a military style because I was all about this crazy music. Then I was a bit, when I was in the Caribbean, I was a bit in the, I don't want to offend anyone, but I was a bit in the cool Bob Marley things. And then after I was surfer girls. And when I arrived in Paris, I have to change my style because the Parisian was so stylish. And I was not, I was 18 years old and I looked like a wild girl. And slowly, and because I have to find work as well, so slowly, and I was a flight attendant for six years, and be a flight attendant traveling the world helped me to 
had to apply my makeup properly and etc. And you know, it's we don't wear the same clothes in the nineties and now. So I'm sure it's going to change again. But where I am right now, I'm super super happy. All right, for tailoring, I have my mom. <laughs> Beautiful. I used to have my grandmother used to do my tailoring. God bless her. Anyway. Protein is key, high protein. I don't know about that. I'm just eating whatever I want with moderation, but I do a lot of sport. Again, from New Zealand, hello. How to the denim dress again? Okay, do you have a thrift shopping? No, I don't actually. I know. I'm not into vintage clothes outside of some um, rock and roll band tea because I thought they're really cool. And in Australia, the, the, you call that thrifting, but we call that vinies here. They, um, you can find good things, but I, I don't know. I don't even know where is it on the Gold Coast. I've never been to. And to be honest with you, I don't have time to go in the shop and hours and hours to finding the piece. But maybe because I don't have the proper shops around me. But um, yeah, I'm not too much into that. Please, I want to be honest with you. All right, let's next question. What brands make a high quality button down shirt? Wow, that's a very good question. Ah, it depends about again the composition of the shirt. You can buy a white button down shirt for two, three hundred dollars, which to my opinion is crazy. But if you can financially, why not? But I found the white button down shirt from Zara, I know, but the, some really, really good, but again, I always check the composition to be sure it's no polyester and it's going to let my skin breathing. I want to go back on thrifting. The thing you can do better for thrifting is to go to Depop or on eBay because it's, it's to me, it's not all clothes or you know, it's mainly that you can find something a little bit more sophisticated and, and you can have all the history of the clothes and the size and etc. I think that will be more like a safe place. Thank you for you, Chanel. I love it. Veronica. Also, thanks for compliment. Oh, <laughs> Budapest, okay. Um, it is best to have a few quality clothes to rotate with different accessories such as lightweight scarf, etc. Yes. I would rather for you to have a capsule wardrobe with basic. When I say basic, I talk about um, black pants, dark jeans, blue jeans, maybe white jeans like I love, and, and same for the tops. And then you can mix match with accessories. What do you, what do, you do with an orange long sleeve jacket? Ooh, orange. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to wear that. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite color and outfit? Black, because I love black. It makes me feel good. Again, girls, it depends about your skin tone color. It's called undertone. But if you have a color who make you feel like a spark, make you feel happy, then it's your happy color. Black is my happy color, white as well. I know some colors can look good on me, but I don't feel good in it. I, it's, it's sad, but this is, this is it. Oscar is here. Besos para Oscar. Muchas gracias, Linda. Muchas gracias. I bought a second hand before, especially for a new job. She, oh, gosh. Hang on. I missed your question. Hang on. It goes so fast. You're almost 300 of you already. Okay. Oscar is not doing very well and to be honest with you i'm going to the vet after this call at 9 a.m i'm going to call the vet he has extremely extremely bad um oh i'm gonna cry he's got very bad arthritis and i even bought a pet stroller which he doesn't like it i don't like it and i need to go back to the vet to give him like um a stronger medication to helping with his arthritis so but he's here he's sleeping and he's waiting for me to finish this to i can take him for a small walk but he's good don't worry he's, he's good thank you for asking uh, do you recommend any brand of collagen okay that's probably for skincare um, I like Estee Lauder. They're a bit more expensive and I'm going to do videos coming soon about my skin routine. 
And uh, yes, I think, and your skin routine, your skin products, excuse me, you should change every three to six months because after your skin get used to it. And again, I'm not a dermatologist, but I will definitely say um, change your routine. It's like the shampoo, you know, when you diverse a bit your products, you it's a bit of a boost to your hair or to your skin. Okay, uh -huh. could you please do a video on your favorite French places to shop online? I would love to, but I don't shop online for my French places because they don't ship to Australia. So the only thing I can do, it's maybe next year, maybe in two years time when the COVID will be finally finished. Um, I will go to France and then I will do a vlog and I'm going to show you what I do because when I go to Paris, I shop crazily. It's like I'm stocking crazily and I can bring back to France, uh, to, to, sit, to, to Australia, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I need to could. It's okay. Thank you, Abby. Oscar is going to be okay. Thank you. Orange jacket pops with olive green. Ooh, ooh. Love Oscar. Portugal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I give a raw egg to, to Oscar as well. Not every day, but he helps. And I give him sardines for the Omega. Don't you? Oh, oh, my darling. What is your fake tan brand? Ah, good question because I'm a professional of fake tan. <laughs> so one Australian brand, and it will be in my Amazon shop in the skincare category because I put always fake tan product that I love and I use. Um, it's, a, it's an Australian brand called Bondi Sense. Very, very good. And one brand that I'm trying right now is Saint-Tropez, Saint-Tropez for you. It's not bad as well. It doesn't give any too much marks, but I'm getting really, really good at applying fake tan. So that will be my two favorite. But Australian brand for fake tan, they're really good because everybody's fake tanning here because the sun is so harsh, we can know sun baking. What is the best way to style pointed cowboy boots? I have no idea. I never wear them. And jeans? <laughs> Just, come on, girls. What is your question? are not helping me. Come on. Lots of kisses. Thank you for your love for Oscar. Thank you. He's waking up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Cindy, I feel so blessed to find you, Chanel. You absolutely treasure. Oh, la, la. Merci, merci. Please don't overwork. I'm going to take some time off in a couple of months. Thank you. Yes, yes. And I'm going to go back to the swimming end of the week. I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit tired. I'm not going to lie. I have troubles to know where to go to work. I don't know how to mix and match the clothes. I already have, I already have to make. It's always wearing. Depends about your job. But if it's an office, it's quite easy. It, can, it depends as well if it's casual smart. Casual smart means you can wear jeans, dark jeans. And it's more like if it's cool, relaxed, corporate, you know, then, you know, a nice tailor pants with a nice shirt, you can't go wrong with work. You need to look professional at work because people judge you the way you, you dressed up, especially at work, you know? So if you have more the, the question, just tell me more what you do for a living and, and then maybe I can help you. All right. I know you want a winter capsule. I'm going to do one very soon. Um, because I've done the Parisian looks and I'd, I've shown the Parisian looks with a lot of trench coats and I saw your comments and I know you're going to winter. So I'm going to do the same with coats when it's 30 degrees outside here. <laughs> oh, lucky me. Oh my gosh, for the grand content. Greeting from West Africa. Where are you? West of Africa. Hmm. And you speak English, so you're not in Senegal. Let me which country you are, because I know Africa pretty well. Shoes every woman should own. Oof. Need a between trainers and heels. Oh, well, that's that's a tricky question, Emily. I will say um, you need a good pair of uh, sneakers, casual sneakers. You need a pair of loafers. If you're not into that, a pair of ballerina, a left, a left one because they're more durable if you're into flat. And for summer, um, sandals, of course. For winter, a nice pair of boots. 
And uh, what else? And for heels, I will say I'll, that will be really the basic, the foundation. For heels, I will say a black of nude and a black, a pair of black. Oh my gosh. Las Vegas. Oh, I would love to go here one day. You make me smile, love. Oh, Liz, Liz, you here. Liz is my best friend. Lizzie. <laughs> I can't believe it. You're watching this. It's not even 7 a.m. Oh, I love you, darling. Um, all right, girls. Wait, 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 wait. Where do you go to clothing brand that you can't on every time you buy Zara? Because I bought from Zara for almost 25 years, and I have to admit, in France or in Europe, because it's a it's a Spanish brand, Zara used to be used to be a very very good quality clothing and to me maybe i have a european size is always true to my size it's it's a, this is a zara body by the way i have this one for five six years wash it a thousand times it's not moving so i know i'm not into much fast fashion but to me zara it's not only i can afford it they have good fashion items they have good quality and now they do more and more consciously for the environment and uh, yeah, so to me, Zara, it's, but I love the French brand, which one day will make a full video when I will be in France. Nude tights. No, absolutely no. Where did you buy your Leopard pumps? Um, the pumps I wear in my video, I think it's from Nine West. It's an Australian brand for shoes. Great one. From Sierra Leone. Wow, nice. I've never been there. Please, more me video about French brand. Okay, girls. Oh my gosh. Okay. Roof, sunscreen on hand. Excellent advice. At 70, my hands show the most sun damages, which we wash them so often. Love from Canada. I give you, if you live in a country like Australia or with a lot of sun, first you put SPF on your face on your neck, on your décolletage all the time. And I'm going to give you another one. I always keep a sunscreen in my uh, glove box in the car for my hands because I realize, so in Australia, we drive on the right-hand side. And my hand, on my right hand, you can tell this is the sunspot because when I put my hand outside. So you can get laser. I'm going to get laser next year to remove it. But you need to put SPF to protect your hands and hydrate it. Coconut oil, it's fantastic for that. All right, Ooh, this is hitting me. I'm high on, on caffeine now. All right, do you agree that depending on the print and colors of the scan, it can age you? Yes, I totally agree. But again, yes, absolutely. Um, yes, <laughs> it's a yes, I do agree. And especially if it's an old style. So yeah, be careful with that. Because uh, I think print, yes, you have to be careful. You don't want something make you look older. You won't be, you won't be, you want to age with grace and you want to wear something with makes you feel not only beautiful, but like a modern woman. I always think modern, you know, something that am I going to wear something like that in five years time? Probably. <sighs> Best way to wash clothes, especially jeans, so they don't lose shape too soon. First, you need to buy clothes, high, uh, jeans, good quality. I've done a video, and I'm surprised it's not so popular. I put, um, what's the name, 16 um, laundry or 16 care tips care to take care of your clothes. For the jeans, I wear them as long as I can, and I wash them together upside down on cold water on 30 degrees max cold or 30 degrees in a washing machine, and I don't dry them directly in the sun. Oh, merci. Says from Sierra Leone, she said, grateful for your channel. I helped me. He has helped me tremendously. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for starting to speak and slurring so fast. I'm getting high. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. More questions. So, girls. Glasgow from Scotland. Ooh, I'm so glad you found me, uh, Andrena. Shoes and boots on bare feet. Can you be bare feet in, in 
in boots? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's another. Buy the right scarf as well for your color and style. Yes, please. Yes, absolutely. Yet I got a lot of questions about laundry, but again, I've done a full video. So please, the thing you can do when you go to YouTube, obviously, if you subscribe, you know my homepage. But if you don't know if the video doesn't show up on the strips, you do a little search. You just put care or tips or laundry and my video will show up. You can find all my videos from a year, a year and a half like that. Hello, Sherry. I love the video on how to laundry. Oh, thank you. How would you clean a linen blazer? Yeah, dry clean. Unfortunately, I will wash by hand the linen or cold water in a washing machine, but the blazer is going to is going to lose the shape. So dry cleaning. Yeah. Can you do a video on how to self tan from Mauritius? Oh, I've been to Mauritius. Beautiful dives. Uh, I've done a video about self tanning and uh, yes, maybe I will do another one. Tampa, Florida. I have to go over there. Chile. Hey, hola. I love that European women embrace aging a lot more than American. I think Americans feel they're as bad or ugly. No, I don't think so. I think it doesn't matter in which country you come from, lady. It's we all aging. We could not avoid it, but you can prevent it and take care of your face and your body, and more important, your mind. I think if you are confident and positive and not overworked like I am right now, then you know what? If it's so important to take care of yourself because you probably have a family, a, maybe a business, and you know we are so multitasking. Women are amazing. You know we are strong, we are resilient, but you need to take care of yourself first and be a little bit selfish. So we all aging. There are a lot of things I don't like on my face right now, but you know what? It's part of life. If you want to do a little some things to improve. Do it. Don't for, don't worry about what people think. It's your face. It's your body. You do whatever you want. Don't don't finish like that, like plastic. <laughs> but definitely, I always said, you know what? You are important. And and if it's something that makes you feel good about yourself, that's the most important. So take care of yourself, girls. Maria Alice. Oh, that's a nice name from New York. Bonjour, bonjour. Bermuda, oh, the Caribbean. Fun, interesting. You may have a style, current body doesn't flatter the look. Okay. Would you like, would you wear four black leather skinny pants with? I will, so I imagine you probably in winter to wear that. I will wear with a nice uh, sh white shirt because black and white beautiful or a nice jumper. I can't wear this in, in Australia. They make you sweat crazily. But I used to do that in Paris. I used to have those leather pants. For Windsor, you look for oh, Merci, Claire. Do you recommend a party? Again, collagen. No, no, I just like, no, look, look. It's no collagen anymore in this face. I'm, I'm kidding. All right. Relax fit jeans on someone with a small bum and large and fights. I imagine you said so. Uh, Probably straight legs and slim feet. Any type of jeans with straight legs, slim feet, skinny. I'm still keeping my skinny. Don't throw away your skinnies. Um, definitely, that will. I think that will fit any type of body type. Yes, my home is boho chic. Oh my gosh, the neighbor starting the renovation. I hope you won't gonna hear the noise. Otherwise, I have to click uh, close the windows. Do you think skinny jeans will make you look dated? Absolutely not. I'm sick of those YouTubers because there's something, oh, skinny jeans are dead. They're not dead. They're just going to go back in fashion for the moment. I think if you have a good pair of skinny jeans and you feel comfortable in it and you love styling them, keep your skinny jeans, okay? But if you haven't tried a straight leg jeans or a slim fit, which is I love, a slim fit, so, a slim fit is like a skinny jeans. They have a little bit of elastin, but instead of being on your leg like that, they're just a little bit more comfortable and give you a little bit more room. Straight legs, they're straight legs. Usually it's not a stretchy fabric for the jeans and they're more like a classic um, a shape. But keep your skinnies. I'm going to tell you it's coming back to fashion. So don't listen to those girls. You know. 
I forgot I'm in life. I talk to you like you're my girlfriend and I forgot. I'm like, oh my gosh, how many people? 300 almost. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. I love my skinny jeans. Tucking in night boots are oh, beautiful. Merci. Click, click, click. Okay. Now, do you wear shoes with bare feet? Yes, all the time. I'm always bare feet. And the only time I wear socks is with boots and my sneakers. But I remind you again, I live in Australia. I love to be barefoot. Love my slim fit stretch jeans. A good alternative. Absolutely. What do you think the bell bottom trousers at again? I think it's just a fad. Mm, yeah, I think so as well. My skin is gorgeous. Thank you. Can I wear a can I wear a white lacy blouse? Is it cheesy? It depends again the quality of it and depends how it looks. But I think you know the broderie anglaise are coming back. If you wear something, if it's not see-through, or if it's see-through, wear something nude underneath and wear with something very clean, like a black pants or a nice pair of jeans. But again, it depends the style of it. But I don't think it's cheesy. I think it can look very nice, especially if you feel good with it. After that, chat, take a deep breath and smile. Roseanne, thank you. You are loved around. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Okay, girls, don't make me cry. All right. So the starting course is here. Yes, I finally, I worked all week yesterday, oh, uh, yesterday, well, yeah, it was yesterday, actually, last week. It's online. It's also, uh, so I'm definitely going to send you, should I send you a direct link? So I'm going to send you a direct link. I did a special price for the launch, and I need to tell you a little bit about this course that took me months and months to put together, because this course is for you to be stylish every day, because I want you to transform the best version of you and all those questions you're asking me. So I'm just going to talk to you very shortly. So please bear with me. Don't leave. Um, so this course is creating with, I know, I know I want the pump pump. I want the fireworks behind me. <laughs> I know it's about time, isn't it? Oh my gosh. So this styling course is contains six modules. Okay. The module number one, and don't think module is one video. It's like, I think it's a total of 52 videos, this course. Yes, I give all my love. I mean, this is la crème de la crème, okay? So the first course, this is what is so important. I explain to you and show you how to, to measure your body. Then when you know your body, apple, triangle, inverted triangle, rectangle, a pair, uh, what's the hourglass, then a training videos per your body type. What you should wear, what you shouldn't wear, what the best fabric, what you should wear for uh, work, uh, gosh, for memory again, um, what the, etc. And ex because each body type have an issue. And if you have, for example, a tummy issue, I give you all the tips, for example, which type of tops will really flatter you better than over. So that's module one. So after that, you know your body top, you know how to dress up. The module number two, it's about your wardrobe. So I show you, I explain to you how to purge your wardrobe, how to reorganize it, how to create a list for creating a capsule wardrobe, and slowly how to replace or uh, creating a more, bringing new items into your wardrobe. It's fantastic. This is going to take you a little bit of time because I, I don't know any woman who have the perfect wardrobe, but this is going to help you to purge not only your, your mind and to have a proper wardrobe. So you know your body type, you know how to dress with, your wardrobe is ready to rock, and I give you a lot of tips how to be a smart shopper as well. Module three, oh my gosh, girls, module three, it's about colors. In this uh, module, I'm going to explain to you so we all have a skin tone, okay, but we have under, undertone. Undertone is when you, for example, a cool, a warm, or a neutral. And I'm going to give you a test we're going to do together on this in the course to define what is your skin tone. Because, and I didn't know that for a long, long time, when you know your skin tone, okay, sorry, I need to close the window. I'm back in a second. 
my neighbor studying the renovation. I'm sorry. I'm back in a second. This is a live video. This is real. All right. So the color, it's about determining which your skin tone and when your undertones, excuse me. And based on that, you will know what's the best color jewelry for you. But I create as well for all makeup, eyeshadow, lipstick, foundation, blush. I even give you a recommendation for what is your best hair color. So not only now you have a beautiful wardrobe, body tab, you know what to dress up and you know you, your skin tone and you know what actually why sometimes some women orange looks fantastic and some other women is like, ooh, and that's going to help you. Module four, it's finding your inspiration. So not only you can keep watching your favorite YouTubers, to keep going, to feeding you with amazing tips. But as well, I show you how to find inspiration, how to create an album um, on your phone and doing screenshots and creating a mood board, etc. Or even tips when you can sit down on the terrace. Paris is good for that. And all afternoon, you're looking at people and you see some people, some women with amazing looks. Module five, are you still with me? You haven't dropped yet. Thank you for still being here. It's all about developing your personal style, your personal signature. So I will, um, it's, it's all about showing you how you can create seven looks for seven days for a full week. And uh, what is, I talk a lot about perfume because perfume is so important. And how after all creating your looks and your capsule, you just need to bring something different that makes you, you, you. Module six, man, you're going to love this one because it's a full module and all my tips and experience I'm sharing with you about how boosting your confidence. Because at the end, you know what? I always said confidence is sexy. And no matter where you live, how much you make, what is your budget for your clothes and skincare, it's about as well how confident you are. Because we women, and gosh, life is not easy for women. We do agree on that. But we are super strong. So I'm going to show you how to build you, your strength, um, how to maintain your positivity, building your confidence. And, uh, and also I have put a, a bit of an extra to be like a glamorous and give you so many ideas for going to a more like a glamorous event and books, recommendation, and so, so much more. You will find all those details. Should I put the link for the course right now in the chat? I'm going to put the link. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a day. I put the link, but it will be as well in the description box below. And I'm going to talk about it more on social media, but it's here. It's for you. Oh, you're going to love it. Mwah. I'm not finishing. Anyway, I, I share the links. So thank you so much. All right. Yes, I talk about hair color. All right. I'm going to go back to your question, girls. Oh, my gosh. It's already an hour. I'm, on, I'm with you. Why does it go so fast with you? I'm having so much fun. I don't want to go. Let's, uh, let's push to, to an hour, okay? We got six minutes. Is that okay? Oh, my gosh. I appreciate again so much for your time. I know for some it's late in the evening. For some it's early in the morning like me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love you. By the way, can I say again, because I'm going to forget at the end, can I say again, thank you so much for watching my videos, for supporting my work. You know, it means the world. I changed completely everything from last year and having access to this community, it's absolutely amazing because you are helping me as well. This is annoying me. <laughs> and I can tell you, I'm hoping in the next two years when the world is back to normal, I'm hoping to do a tour and to finally doing workshop with you, conferences. I don't know yet, you know, but I definitely want to meet you and I will travel around the world to meet with you. That, that is a promise. Try my best. We will talk about it in two years' time. Anyway, this live streaming goes go very fast. I know I can't believe it. I've been talking for an hour. 
All you tutorials are phenomenal. Thank you, Tan Tania, I will say. All right. It is never enough of you. <laughs> oh, from Ukraine, Nadija. Oh, so much hearts. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Yes, my sense of humor. Girls, I want to tell you what you see in my videos. It's exactly who I am in real life. It's no BS here. It's, it's exactly who I am. I am not perfect, but I definitely, my heart is at the right place and my love for you and I wanted to help you to be the best of you. It's, it's 150% authentic, I can tell you. That, that I can assure you. But I think you're smart enough, you can see that because, because some people on, on YouTube are not so, so real. <coughs> anyway, I'm not a grill anyone here. You're a great motivator. Ooh, ooh, thank you. You are a great motivator. No more Red Bull for me. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate your time. What can I say? We have to do that more often. Uda, you here? I'm from Morocco. Oh my gosh, I was waiting for you. Hi, Uda. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Kisses, kisses. Yes, seminar touring. Oh, yes, I will love that. Lynn from Norway. Oh my gosh. Gosh, she must be late for you right now. Uh, he, René, Uda, Cathy, Elisabeth. Click the like button for Frédéric. Merci. All right, girls. Do you have any? Isabel from Barcelona. Beautiful. I love Barcelona. Island, Adrien, Uda, Mel. Okay, girls. Are we leaving? Are we leaving? All right. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm so sorry for messing up the beginning of his live streaming. Who has been your biggest influence in terms of style, beauty, and self-confidence? Mm, that's a question I have to think about it, but I will say myself and, yeah, and my grandmother. My grandmother was amazing. And my best friend, an amazing support as well for me. Lizzie. <laughs> Too much love from the UK. Oh, I can't wait to go to the UK. Love, 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 love. Yes, okay. Girls, stay safe. Um, look after yourself. Keep watching my videos. Share the love with other girls you think they, they will love and learn something as well. And oh, Turin, oh, Torino, Canada. My gosh, you are everywhere. This is insane. Is that amazing to have access to the internet when I think about it? I mean, that's something you couldn't do it like 15 years ago. Come to Morocco. I love going to Morocco. I love Morocco. Poland. All right, girls. I'm going to stop this live video. Oh. Big kisses. Don't forget, get the styling course if you, because it's much longer. You can study on your own pace. You can get access to the course for 12 months. No pressure. I'm always a click away. And I need to create today the exclusive Facebook page. It hasn't been created yet, so bear with me. But you know what? It's, it's going to be fantastic. So, um, yes. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the night. Good night to the girls who go to bed. <laughs> I love you. Je vous aime. Merci beaucoup encore à vous toutes. Bonne journée. Bon week-end. À très bientôt. Au revoir. And you take care. I don't want to hang up on you. You keep sending me messages. How can I hang up on you? Hi, Luz from Oklahoma. Au revoir, Marta, Ludmila, Eternal Sunshine from Canada. Abby and Maliv, Rihanna, Lisa, Trudy, Lynn. Oh my gosh, you're all here. Liz. <laughs> Sarah, I can't wait for the next one. I promise. Now I'm a little bit more relaxed. I'm going to do more live streaming, a little bit more organized this time. Have a nice day. Oh, from Saint Thérèse, Quebec. Bisous, bisous. Bisous, bisous. It's kisses in French. Besos, by angels. Bye, bye, bye. I'm hanging up. I love you. I have one hour. I hang up. Love you. You take care. I see you soon on YouTube, girls. Bye.